kits. Radio and electronics kits. Today we're going to unbox a vintage 1957 unbuilt radio kit. Here is an unbuilt radio kit from Allied Radio out of Chicago. Allied had a line of electronics kits under the Night Kit name, and this was their Transmidge transistor radio kit. You follow the instructions, and you build it yourself. The assembly instructions are dated 1957. They are a bit brittle and rather fragile, so I won't open them all the way up. Transmidge. Allied radio. There's an awful lot of paperwork here for what is, I think, a fairly simple radio kit. And you get the warranty registration card, which in those days you had to fill out and send in or your warranty wasn't valid. That was a little game companies played to, as we say nowadays, harvest your data. Congress, loath as they are to side with consumers against corporations, finally did put a stop to that practice. More paperwork, or more specifically, soldering instructions. Yeah, this is really brittle. Sorry, I just can't open it more. This would have been a beginner's kit, so soldering instructions and everything is spelled out for the person who may have never done it before. It's always good to be mindful of your soldering technique. They always said most of the problems kit builders experienced were related to soldering issues. And here's the little cabinet, a little snap-together polystyrene plastic box. It's pre-drilled for mounting the parts. We used to build other kits in those days, too. There were model airplane kits and leather craft kits. Eventually, they even made kits out of Legos, but I could never understand the appeal of Legos. I suppose the most popular kits we built were the model car kits. And they were fun, I guess, but I had a lingering why-bother feeling with those. When you were done, you couldn't get into it and drive it. It was three inches tall. All you could do with it was put it on the shelf or push it around on the floor, maybe tease the cat. But when you finished an electronics kit, you had something that did something. And here are the parts, which even include the original Rayovac Penlight battery. This is a little unusual because this was in the days of batteries not included, a phrase that put a damper on more Christmas mornings than fruitcake. I wondered if this kit maybe wasn't complete since there weren't any earphones or headphones there hidden in the packaging somehow. This is a one transistor radio that played only through some kind of an earphone. It wouldn't be powerful enough to play through a speaker. So it needed an earphone or headphone. But then I looked it up in the Allied Radio catalog and learned a few things. I'll show you. First, I learned that the radio cost a whopping $2.45. And I also found that the headphones for it were sold separately for $2.15. For another $1.03, you could also buy an optional antenna kit. The Night Kit Transmidge from Allied Radio.